Hi, I'm Will Herlance, co-founder of OpSecure. And today I'm introducing Cyberprint, a new identity verification technology that allows you to accept more customers. As the world continues to be remote, you'd think that remote banking is easy, but banks today are rejecting customers on a day in and day out basis. Let's see what happens when we try to open up a new bank account together. So first, I'll click on this new bank app that I downloaded, and we're gonna register a new account. So first I'll add my name, and then I'll add my date of birth, some basic information. And now I'm gonna do an identity document verification where I snap a selfie of myself and then upload an ID. This process is becoming pretty standard for remote digital onboarding now. So I'll take a selfie first, nice and easy. And now I'll get a picture of my ID. This is my driver's license. So take a photo there, great. Oh, um, okay, seems like it couldn't read my ID. So I'm just gonna try that once more. So I'll get it nice and straight, take a photo. Oh, what's the problem now? It seems like the biometrics didn't match the selfie that I gave. Okay, well, let's try a different ID. Here's my recent university ID. What? It doesn't seem like this ID is accepted at all. Well, I don't have any more IDs. Uh, so what if I click no ID? Call a bank? No way. This bank just lost me as a customer, a perfectly good customer. Are you comfortable if this is what your bank is doing? ID verification isn't perfect. And as we just saw, it can result in lost customers. There are millions of potential users who don't have IDs. There are users who can't find their IDs or can't upload IDs. And then there are users like me who just uploaded a perfectly valid ID, but get rejected anyway. And there's fraud, where attackers can buy fake IDs to defeat even sophisticated forms of ID verification. So instead, we've developed what we call cyber print verification to help fintechs stop rejecting good customers. Once a customer provides some basic information and a selfie, you shouldn't be limited to comparing that selfie only against a physical ID. Instead, you can compare it against the customer's public online identity. This public online identity is made up of information and images on public sources, like the customer's company website or an old Finnovate conference that the customer once attended. Nearly everyone has a public online visual persona. With Cyberprint, we use this online persona to corroborate a person's identity. This allows us to accept customers, even if there are issues in the automatic ID analysis, or even if they don't have physical IDs. Now, the entire Cyberprint search is computed on the fly. And this means that we don't store any personal information. We ensure full privacy for the user and compliance for our FinTech partners. We always ask for explicit user consent, we never store any images or biometrics of customers. And unlike law enforcement, we don't try to identify who you are. We're trying to verify that you are who you say you are. So now I wanna take you on a behind the scenes look at how we verify a customer. So what you're seeing here is the investigation workflow for a cyberprint search on myself. And as you can see on top, I was verified by the cyberprint system. Below, you can see images of me that are dynamically linked from public online matches. And now remember that we don't store these images. These are just dynamically linked. And we also don't store the selfie image that I needed to upload as part of the search. So each customer's cyberprint has a two-part analysis. First, we independently analyze each public match of the customer. So for example, the first match that I have here is from a NASA website. And since it's a government site, it's a very trusted source. And we can also see that the match quality or the uniqueness is also very high. Now, once we do this for each match independently, we again analyze the entire set of matches to get additional insight. And overall, we can see here that the reliability score is high since my photos are all coming from trusted sources and the history score is high as well, meaning that my persona has been online for a long time. 
Finally, there's all sorts of additional information, like a map where we can see the locations associated with my photos. With Cyberprint, we get all of this insight to increase trust and accept more customers. For example, with so much trusted information, wouldn't you want me as your customer, even if I don't have a physical ID with me? Now let's see what Cyberprint finds on a fraudster's application. So I wanna introduce you to someone named Ruben Stas. He's a fake person with a fake identity that I created. He has my face, but the rest of his details are synthetic. Now, normally in order to use the synthetic identity, all I need to do is to buy or make a fake physical ID. But with Cyberprint, now I need an entire fake online identity. This dramatically increases the difficulty of an attack. And in fact, over the past few weeks, I've created social media profiles, breadcrumbs, everything I need in order to make this identity look real. But when we run a Cyberprint search, the results don't look very good for Ruben, do they? His reliability score is low because all of the matches are from social media that can be easily faked. And the history score here is also very low because Ruben appeared online only in the past few weeks. All of this means that the overall confidence score is low and Cyberprint wouldn't verify this identity. So finally, let's go back to where we started. And let me show you how Cyberprint makes it easy to register a new bank account. So here, I'm gonna open up a new bank that I just downloaded their app on my phone. And again, we're gonna register for a new account. And I'm gonna go through the same exact flow that I went through before. But this time, if I'm one of the millions of people without a government ID, or if I can't find my ID, or if I upload my ID and it's rejected anyway, I just click on no ID, and just look at that, approval can come instantly. Now, what I just showed is using Cyberprint without an ID document at all, but they can be used together as well. Meaning that any bank, any FinTech, any company using ID verification can add Cyberprint seamlessly in the background in order to enhance their verification. So to conclude, Cyberprint is a new identity verification tool that's completely private doesn't change the user flow, and verifies customers with or without an ID. So stop rejecting qualified customers and start saying yes. With Cyberprint, we allow you to accept more customers. Thank you very much.